Hey guys, Mixer. Today we're going to be trying to revive this Predator 212. So if you guys watched that, um, the new Fixer Upper video, uh, if you guys remember this engine was locked up and I checked the valves and I fixed the problem and I got it running for a little while and now it's locked up again. So I'm going to go through it and try and figure out what's going on. First what I'm just going to do is uh, I'm going to take it off of the mini back frame and then bring it over to the table. So I got the engine off and first I'm just going to take off the... Uh, the air box and the exhaust. Now that those two things are off, I'm just gonna take off uh, all these plastics. All right, so now that I got off the plastics, now you can see what I'm talking about. So you can spin it for a little bit freely, and all of a sudden it locks up and like retracts. So at first maybe I thought that, you know, I thought it was the valves, of course, but now, now that I'm kind of thinking it might be the armature, but it doesn't look like that's the case. So I'm gonna dig deeper into it. So what I'm gonna do is just totally take apart everything into pieces, you know, Get, get to the piston, take out the valves, pretty much everything because uh, this engine, you know, pretty much never ran right. So I kind of just want to take it all apart, find any problems, fix it, and see if it could get running. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother. guys so uh so i took off the head and as you can see uh it's a little gummed up over here but i don't think that's really you know affect the engine from not running and the piston uh you know it looks it actually look kind of burnt but so i'm gonna take off the crank cover and take out the piston and everything and uh clean up everything all right so i'm gonna drain the oil so it's all clean all right so uh I got the crank case cover out and took out the camshaft and the tappets and everything and everything looks fine so you know I'm not sure I don't know if the these bolts for the uh, connecting arm to the rod journal were too tight so I'm just gonna take that off check out the piston some more and put it all together alright guys so I have the uh, uh, lower cap off and now we're gonna take off the piston so here it is and uh it actually looks pretty good except for the top i have to clean that up so i cleaned up the piston and uh there's this really small indentation there but that's really not gonna affect the whole engine from not running but it looks pretty good you know and that was like a top yep there's sean you see it in recent videos but uh if, if you like take apart this engine, then the arrow means you have, that's how you have to put it. You have to put it down. All right, so I don't think I have to take out the uh, the crankshaft. You know, this looks, everything looks fine. But the rod journal looks a little messed up. But yeah, that should be fine. Um, so also what, I'm, what I have to do for this is I'm going to order a new carburetor. Because the other one's all messed up. Um, maybe some new gaskets. I'm also probably going to drain the old gas from here and put in some fresh brand new gas also what i'm going to do is i'm going to scrape off all this old uh gasket material also what i'm going to do is i'm going to fix uh shout out to 3d machines yep shout out to 3d machines he's awesome i'll put his link down in the description even though he's like super famous but uh i'm going to fix up that governor arm well governor arm linkage thing uh because when i removed the governor i took off the governor arm and i kind of hooked up kind of like a redneck type of three thing machines, to keep right? in that governor arm so it doesn't like fly when I throttle it. All right guys, so this is basically just gonna conclude it for uh, the part one, <laughs> the part one of uh, attempting to revive this engine. As you can see, there's a lot of parts. All right, so I'm gonna record part two tomorrow um, because kind of running out of daylight. Um, and we'll put this all back together and I'm gonna order a new carburetor for it. So hopefully it runs So if you guys enjoyed, please subscribe by comment tell your friends with the channel. Thanks for watching